what's going on everybody i hope everybody's doing good today tonight whenever you're watching this i apologize if the video looks a little weird uh you know i would be sitting outside recording but you know i've been dealing with a bit of a headache today so i'm just kind of sitting in my room you know cooling off it's also pretty warm out too i've been dealing with some cold days here in michigan lately but now it's been warming up and i think it's supposed to stay warm for the next few days so that could be a good thing depending on what type of job i do next because i work for a building contracting company so yeah anyways i'm gonna try and put politics aside as much as i can uh, if i do sound a little political i do apologize but for this video i'm gonna try and you know keep politics out as much as possible but anyways i've been wanting to talk about this subject for a while now because i've been noticing it a lot more you know a lot of predator catching channels out there have been either getting a lot of their videos removed or they get removed from youtube for many reasons not only that but another reason why i'm making this video is because recently you know there was a video i did on my original channel about a couple years back you know talking about you know how i think people that prey on children deserve the worst consequences out there and unfortunately that video got taken down which really pisses me off you know first youtube made it to where nobody else could see the video except for me and you know i edited the video a couple times to make it to where it that wouldn't happen and then recently youtube just removed it you know i had a buddy that commented on one of my videos on my original channel saying hey why'd you take that video down and for some reason youtube claims i took the video down which i did not do I don't know why YouTube said that I took the video down, which I did not do, because I still stand by what I said in the video, and for some reason, it says I took the video down, which I would never do. You know why? Because what I said in that video, you know, I absolutely meant it. Maybe I did say some things in the video that I probably should have thought a little more about, but again... I said what I had to say in that video, and that's that. But yeah, that right there is another reason why I'm kind of talking about this subject. But here lately, I've been hearing a lot of predator catching channels on YouTube that have been speaking out and saying that YouTube has been going after them for making these videos. You know, and it's not just one channel that's doing it either. You know, there's a lot a lot of youtube channels that involve predator catching that have been under fire you know a lot of them have been getting their videos taken down all because youtube doesn't agree with it and for me you know i watch a lot of predator catching videos because you know i think it's fun to watch you know watching people that like to prey on children get caught and confronted you know some of them get arrested and then some of them you know for them not to get arrested they have to call a loved one of some sort to let them know what they're doing and why they thought it was okay and honestly i think the predator catching youtubers that are doing that i think they're doing the right thing you know why because these people do not need to be preying on children you know anybody that thinks it's okay to molest a child or sexually harass them or anything like that they don't deserve to live nor do they deserve to walk free i'll just say that right now is there a good chance that this video might get taken down for some of the things i say on here probably you know if that happens then whatever but honestly i think it's completely stupid that youtube is doing this shit you know, the sad thing is, some of it also has to do with the fact that some of the people that get caught in some of the YouTube videos, they end up finding that video and they report it. 
and YouTube ends up taking it down, which I think is complete bullshit. Like, there was this one guy, you know, he was caught by, uh, what's her name? Uh, Courtney Elizabeth. I haven't really been watching her too much lately, other than some of the videos she's done here in Michigan that she did with, uh, Tecoy and, I believe, uh, Predator Catcher is Muncie. Yeah, yeah, that was them, sorry. I have a bad memory, but... Yeah, she did a few videos with them and did some catches here in Michigan. But, you know, a lot of her videos are based in Wisconsin because, you know, she lives in the, in the Madison, Wisconsin area. But, you know, she's had quite a bit of her videos taken down. One of them, uh, one of the predators she's caught, you know, keeps having her videos taken down. This one guy, you know, cheated on his wife several times. And then all of a sudden he wanted to go and meet a little girl. And, you know, Courtney ended up confronting that guy. And for one, that dude showed no remorse. You know, he acted like he wasn't doing anything wrong. He was like, oh, well, I'm just doing this. Oh, well, I'm just doing that. Oh, yeah, I do feel like shit. Oh, but not really. And that guy, I'm not even going to say his name because I don't want him to find this video and then him take it down. But, of course, he lied about his name. And then, you know, he tried calling his friend. And, well, side note, he lied and said that he didn't have a family. He wasn't married or anything up until uh, he was calling one of his co-workers, I guess. And, for one, the guy that he was on the phone with uh, mentioned his real name and then he also was like well how come you're not calling your wife or whatever and then after that you know Courtney made him call his wife and you know he he kept acting like you know he wasn't doing anything wrong when really he was you know even his wife was criticizing him for it and he just didn't seem to care, you know, that's a sad thing, but yeah, that guy caused Courtney to have some of her videos removed, that, and, uh, this other guy, I guess, in northern Wisconsin, and this dude looked really creepy, and, you know, come to find out, that guy was on the sex offenders list, and she didn't know about it until a few days after she confronted that guy you know this one guy I guess uh, he's been in trouble with the law twice in the past for trying to do something with a minor you know one time back in 2011 and another time back in 2015 which I think is fucked up you know and he's been on the sex offender street since either 2011 or 2012 Yet here he is, you know, still messaging little girls online, you know, talking about how he wants to do this, do that, saying all these sexual things. And whether or not he actually got arrested, I don't know. She did end up talking to the police about that guy. And I'd imagine he probably did get arrested, but he probably got let off because, you know, some of these predators out there that get caught they claim to have a learning disability or you know they're just going through this and that which dude i have a learning disability and i struggle with a lot of things you know i struggle with depression you know i have anxiety you know and i you know there's a lot of things i deal with but it doesn't occur to me to go and talk to a kid inappropriately that is not the type of person I am I've never had thoughts of doing anything like that these predators out there that do that they use their learning disability or their anxiety or depression as a reason that they do this no I'm sorry but there are people out there that deal with the same shit and they don't do stuff like that and it's not just Courtney Elizabeth that has confronted child predators that have said the same thing or done the same thing and have had their videos taken down. You know, you got a lot of other predator catching 
channels out there like Alex from Predator Approachers, Dads Against Predators, People vs. Pred, you know, Anxiety War, and Pred, PCI, American Predator Catchers, Skeeter Gene, Hunted and Confronted, PP Mass, Protect the Innocent, Predator Catchers PA, Walker Shepherd, Omaha Pad Approachers, you know, the list continues. But I'll end it there. You know, a lot of them have either had some of their videos either reported or taken down for whatever reason. And it's pretty sad, you know. Like I said, these predator catchers are doing the right thing by confronting these people. And YouTube isn't supporting it like they should. That's pretty sad. All I gotta say is if these people that get caught don't like to get in trouble or get caught in some sort of way maybe they should seek help and stop preying on children then I know what some people are gonna say oh well some of these predator catchers like to say some things or you know start shit and, and yell and be like excuse me everybody this person's here to meet so and so well you know what these child predators fucking deserve it you know, I'm sorry, but for anybody that thinks it's okay to prey on children, they are a complete piece of shit. And honestly, like I said, I'm sure this video will probably get reported or removed because YouTube is against videos like this. But you know what? I don't care. I'll say it right now. I think child predators deserve some of the worst punishments out there. And for those of you that are going to sugarcoat some of these people and say things like, well, some of these people don't want to be called child predators or pedophiles. They just want to be called minor attracted people. Um, I'm sorry, there is no difference between a minor attracted person and a pedophile. If you don't know the definition of a pedophile, go and look it up. I've already talked about that in another video. And I'm not about to talk about people that think there's a difference between a pedophile and a minor attracted person. I'm sorry. There is no difference at all. And to everybody out there that's going to say, well, these predator catchers shouldn't be confronting these pedophiles. Well, you know what? These pedophiles shouldn't be doing what they're doing. And not only that, but I, rem I must remind you, a lot of these kids out there that have came across child predators and those predators have done things to those children those children end up growing up they look at things like drugs or suicide therapy because you know they don't view sex the same way when they get older that shit ends up sticking with them for the rest of their lives that's what a lot of you need to understand I know that for a fact because I've met some people in my life that have got molested as a child and it's pretty sad. They, they've told me that it's something that sticks with them and you know, they have to seek a lot of help because of it. It's pretty sad. So I may have said this in the video already, but I'll say it again. To all the YouTubers out there that like to catch child predators keep doing what you're doing i think you guys are doing the right thing these child predators deserve to be confronted not only that but in my opinion a lot of them deserve to be either locked up and many other things in my opinion there is no excuse for any adult out there to mess with children like that if you think it's okay to prey on a child, you need your head kicked in. That's all there is to it. And here's what I have to say to YouTube for going after these predator catching YouTube channels. Fuck you. If it's okay for child predators to try and solicit a minor in any way, shape, or form, I don't see why it should be okay 
or I don't see why it shouldn't be okay, excuse me, for predator catchers on YouTube to confront these bastards. I'll say that right now. Anyways, that's really all I gotta say for this video. I'm sure I probably pissed a lot of people off for saying what I said, and I'm sure this video will get some hate for saying what I said. And you know what? I don't care. That's not my problem. If you have something you want to say to me, I'd like to hear you say something in the comments. If you do agree with what I'm saying, feel free to give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to comment. You know, do whatever. If you don't like this video, feel free to thumb it down or feel free to say why. If you respect my opinion but you feel like you need to say something, like it, either you disagree in a way, then whatever. Feel free to say something. But anyways, that's really all I gotta say. I hope everybody's having a great day, great night, whenever you're watching this. Like I said, fall weather is here, and not only that, but it's October as well. You know, Halloween's coming up, and then, you know, right after that, you got Thanksgiving, and then Christmas will come quicker than we think, you know. I'm looking forward to it. Anyways, y'all have a great day. Peace.